Shalom, shalom. We are Israel united in Christ. We come out here teaching our people that you so-called blacks and Latinos and Native Americans, you God chose the people going to the mouth. I ain't worried telling our people we've been turning over for way too long. It's time for our people to turn to the Lord. Read. First Corinthians 2 and verse 4. Read. And my speech and my preaching was not with enticing words. So our speech and our preaching, when we come out here teaching this gospel, it might not be with enticing words. Read. Enticing words of man's wisdom. Of man's wisdom. Because guess what? We're not going to tell you you can keep saying it. Read. But in demonstration of the spirit and of power. Read. That, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men. Read. But in the power of God. So your, so your faith can stand in the word of God. Give me some rough five and seven. It's time for our people to wake up. Rock chapter 5 verse 7. What we come out here to do is to tell, tell the blacks and Latinos that you God told some people. You went into slavery for breaking God's law. Free. The book of Sirach chapter right 5 here. Hey, and verse right 7. Free. Make no terror to turn to the Lord. It's time for our people to make no terror to turn to the Lord. You know what that means? Don't waste no time. That's right. Run it right here. And say, don't waste no time to turn to the Lord. Right. And put that, and put that off from day to day. And put not off from day to day, read. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Because suddenly wild people partying and smoking weed, drinking on Bill Street, the wrath of the Lord going to come forth, read. And in our security, see your up. security, brother, right here. Let me ask you a question, brother. Let me ask you a question. How do we get over here? How do we get over here? Breathe. And that's a kid. Thou shall be right destroyed. Right here. Right Verse 15. Now I'm going to show you 
why he brought us to slavery again with shit. Read. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Read. What? This shall come to pass. So who is the audience right here? Hold it. Give me the front of the one. Hold it. Give me the front of the one. Of so let me show you who the audience right here is. Deuteronomy chapter 1 and verse 1. Read. This be the word that Moses spake unto all Israel. Read that again. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. So he's saying, these be the words which Moses spake unto who? All Israel. All Israel. Israel. Now watch this. Go to Deuteronomy 2 and 86. 15 again. Deuteronomy 2 and 15. So who is the audience again? We just read. Israel. Remember that. These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. Right there, read. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 15. Read. But it shall come to pass. So he's saying, but it shall come to pass. Who is he talking to again? Israel. But it shall come to pass, meaning if it ain't happening already, it's going to happen. Read. If thou could not walk it unto the voice of the Lord thy God. If you won't hearken to the voice of the Lord your God, what's the voice of the Lord our God? The word, the words that is bowed. From your voice come words. Read. To a tongue and to do all his commandments. That's what hearken talking about. Listen, talking about to do all his commandments. Not just ten. It's way more than ten commandments in this Bible. Read. And his statutes. And his statutes and his laws. Read. Which I command thee this day. Read. That all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake you thee. You see that? So we didn't listen to God. He said he was going to put curses on us. What is a curse? A bad thing, right? But curse is an evil thing. Go to verse 46. So I'm going to show you something. Verse 46. Verse 46. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a son. And they. What's the day? They is a pronoun. It's substitute for the curse. The curse is going to be on our people for a sign. Like how you know you want being street? Because that sign say being street. That sign point that we on being street. It show you we on being street. So these curses going to show you who the children of Israel are in these last days. Read. And they shall be upon thee for a sign. Read. And for a word. You're going to be going through it so bad. That you don't wonder if God is real. You don't wonder why we going through the stuff that we going through. Hey, hey, and bring it out. It's saying upon your seed forever. You got kids? It's saying upon your seed forever, meaning when you have kids, these curses on your kids too. I'm going to show you what I mean by this. Verse 16. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 16. Read. Curse shall thou be in the city. Now who is he talking to? Israel. He told Israel, look, if you don't listen to God, look, evil was going to happen to you in the city, in the streets of Memphis. You from Memphis? Yeah, what part of what part of all states you from? Wisconsin. Now, when you go to Wisconsin, who stay in the parts where the evil happened in? We do, right? There's one sign that you know that the black people, the tears of Israel, breathe. Man, curse right. shall not be in the city, breathe. And curse shall not be in the city. Who was in the cotton field? And, who, and what color was they? Black, breathe. Curse shall be the basket and the store. He said evil was going to be your basket. When you go to the store, can you buy the most expensive items? Can we buy the most expensive clothes? Can we buy the most expensive groceries? Can we buy the most expensive shoes? Can we afford the most expensive things? Make it Why? Pain, huh? This Bible real. Read. And curse shall be thy stone. Read. And curse shall thou be in the field. And curse shall thou be thy basket. Read. And thy stone. And curse shall be your stones. Out of all these stones on the street. What the black all All our life, we don't have no black owned businesses. Why? Right? Because God told his chosen people, if you didn't listen, he was going to put curses on you. That's why he said upon your seed forever, meaning even when we have kids, what businesses do we pass down to our kids? Who own Morgan and Morgan? They pass that down to their kids. 
who own ENST core and B tracks. So called Caucasian, they pass that down to their kids. Right. But what major incorporations do we get to pass down to our kids? Right. You can't name it. Verse 25. Deuteronomy 28. Hey, verse 25. Read. The Lord shall cause thee to be sick before thy enemies. He said he was going to cause you to be killed before your enemies. Who getting killed by the oppressor head there in these streets? It's who? And who, who doing it? Exactly, read. Thou shalt go out one way against them. You went out one way against them, how? Silver Wolf, Black Panther. You went out one way against them. What was the Black Panther symbol? Right. What was the Black Panther symbol? The fish, right? One way against them, read. And three, seven ways. Before them. You was going to go seven different ways. Why? Because we started with one fish. Then one fish broke out to blood, trip, TD, vice lord, bail mob, Christianity. We went seven different ways. Three. And shall be removed into all kingdoms of the earth. Three. Verse 20. Oh, verse 28. Verse 28. Three. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. He said the Lord was going to smite you with madness. What they're talking about, black on black crime. We smitten it with madness. Three. And blindness. And blindness. We blind to the fact that we God chosen people. We blind to the fact that slave ships in the battle. We blind to the fact that our daily lives, everything we go through is right in the past. Bring it out, huh? Bless it, baby. We the only nation of people that walk up and down the street sagging our pants, showing our toes. We the only nation of people that got our women on YouTube twerking. At new day. You was gonna search in noon days, read. As a blind, groping in darkness. The same way a blind man searching darkness, that's the same way our people search when it's daylight. What they what they searching in? Sunday, what they gonna be doing? Searching in them churches. But the past ain't got no else's. All he wanted is your money. Verse 30. This history coming out of Bible, verse 32. Read. Verse 32. Read. Our sons and our daughters shall be given unto another people. He said, your sons and your daughters will be given to another people. Who did that happen to? When was our sons and daughters sold to another race of people? When? When? Slavery, free. And their eyes shall look and found with longer for them all that they know. Because when they came and took our kids, what could we do? We couldn't do nothing. Brothers, they got kids now. If they come and just decide they want to take our kids, what can we do? Read. And there shall be no might in the hand. Meaning you was going to have a small amount of power. You ever heard that they call us the minorities? That's why they call you the minorities. Not because of population, because you got a small amount of power in your hand. Verse 48. Read. Verse 48. Now watch this. Let me show you this, then I'm going to show you a couple more things. Dealing with God laws, read. Verse 48, therefore shall thou serve the enemy. Now, this another sign that we're going to change the Since we didn't want to listen to God laws, we said we were going to have to do that. Right? Therefore shall thou serve the enemy. He gave us over to the hand of our enemy, read. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Because it didn't just come to their mind to come get us. Who sent them against us? The Lord The Lord, our Lord, the God of Israel, not of everybody, sent them against us, read. In hunger. In hunger. When we hunger, where we go to? Who own our grocery stores and our, in our community? Who own the grocery stores? Who own Kroger, Walmart, McDonald's, Wendy's? We don't own none of these, read. And in thirst. And in thirst, the son of Sprite Coke. Who own our community? And in want of all things. And in want of all things, you want a driver's license. You want your check. You want a job. You want a house. You want land. You want you want to have a baby. You gotta go to the hospital. Read. And he shall put the young man who your enemy is. And he read. Shall put the young until you fully accepted the garbage that he taught you. That's what that's talking about. That's now watch right. this. Now you see what we just read, all that points of one nation of people. 
the Israelites. With that being said, who identify with them curses we just read? Us, right? Us. Now what? And Latino too, right? Mexicans too. So let me show you something. You understand that you God's only people who are Israelites. That's what he just shows you. That's what those signs for. Now watch this. Go to all, go to all. Deuteronomy 10 and 12. Now let me show you what's required. What's up, bro? You gonna run around? Hey, man, I'm a fan of y'all, bro. All praises, bro. Watch this. So you know you is a lot of going to the mountain. Watch this. You be doing the routine and twist. You walk up at the right time, bro. Read up! All right, read. To the one, ten, and verse twelve. Read. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of thee? So he says he requires something of you. And now, Israel, what do the Lord thy God require of you? Why? Because you separate from all nations. He ain't worried about the other nations. He worried about us. Read. But to fear the Lord thy God. What they mean? For his judgments. Read. To walk in all his ways. Read. And to love him. Read. And to serve the Lord thy God. Read. With all thy heart. Read. And with all thy soul. Read. To keep the commandments to of the what? Lord. To do what? To keep the commandments of the Lord. To keep the commandments of the Lord. Give me one law, Leviticus 21 and 5. So let me ask you something, bro. Do you think you're keeping God law? So watch this, you can learn, bro. So look, you know you were Israelite according to the Bible. God said he requires some of you. You too, bro. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. So we're gonna give you some of these laws, bro, that the most high God gave his holy people, his separate nation of people. Leviticus chapter 21, verse 5. Right there. Leviticus 21. Leviticus chapter 21 and verse 5. Read. They should not make bones upon their head. So the Bible say we are supposed to make bones upon our head. This society teach you to cut your beard out. We are supposed to do that according to the vow. Read. Neither shall they shave off the corners of our beard. We are supposed to shave off the corners of our beard. You know you is real, bro, don't you? Can you grow a beard? You gotta let it, if you can, let that thing go, bro. I know, I know, I know, I know, I'm a crab with you. All praise, Neither can't get any cuttings in their flesh. Neither get any tattoos. We can't get no tattoos once we know we're Israelite. So let me show you, did y'all know it's the lowest seventh day today? Did y'all know from Friday Sunday, from Friday night to Saturday night, is the lowest seventh day. It's really Saturday right now, it's the seventh day already. Because the evening in the morning was the first day. A new day begins at night. Give me Exodus 20 and 8. So it's the Lord's seventh day. And he gave the seventh day. He gave these laws to his holy nation's people. Exodus 20 and 8. Exodus chapter 20 and verse 8. Read. Remember the seventh day. Why you think he said remember? Because he knew we was going to forget. Do what? Do slavery. Do slavery. Why? Because you ask our people what's the seventh day today? Guess what they say? Sunday. Read. Remember the seventh day. Read. To keep it holy. To keep it separate from all the rest of the other days. Read. Six days shall thy labor to do all thy work. He gave us six days to work. Six days to work. Read. But the seventh day. But the seventh day. Is the Sabbath. It's the seventh day. Of the Lord thy Read. God. Read. In it. Thou shalt not, shall not do any work. So you were supposed to work on God's seventh day. Give me the minute just 20. So on God's seventh day, which is today, you were supposed to work. Now, give me the minute for 23 and 2. I'm going to show you what else you're supposed to be doing on the seventh day. The minute chapter 23 and verse 2. The Leviticus chapter 23 and verse 2. Read. Speak unto the children of Israel. Notice his repetitions in saying, speak unto who? Unto the children of Israel. Why? Because we God told the people, read. And say unto them, read. Concerning the feast of the Lord. And say unto them, not everybody else, read. Which ye shall proclaim to be holy convocation. To be separate gatherings, read. Even these are my feet. Read, read fast. Six days shall work be done. Read. But the seventh day is the seventh of the no place. Read. A holy convocation. A holy convocation, a lawful gathering. So guess what y'all need to be doing tomorrow? Y'all need to be coming to our school doing a separate gathering. 
with like minded brothers like yourself. Why? Why you think of so much people get killed on Friday night? This is God's seventh day. God said, don't do your own flip. We're supposed to be doing a separate gathering. But our people want to be like the other nations. Give me Nehemiah 10 and 31. We know everything on God's seventh day we don't want to be doing. If we just, if we just do come together in the holy convocation, so much, we wouldn't even have to worry about so much little Ray Ray getting killed, little Jojo getting killed. Stay in the house on God seven day. Yeah. It's time for our people to wake up. We've been turning up way too long. It's time for the black man to come back to these long statues and commandments. Yeah. Let's know with both breathe. Nehemiah 10 and 31. Breathe. And if the people of the land, we were of them or any victims. If the people of the land, the other nations, the people of this land, because according to the Bible, as we Israelites, God said don't be according to this land. You ain't supposed to celebrate Christmas. That ain't got nothing dealing with the Bible. Thanksgiving, none of that. God gave us our own high holy day, the seventh day, feast of dedication, prayer, so all that, feast of tabernacle, read. And if the people of the land bring work or any picture, if they bring items of food, read. On the seventh day, on the seventh day, which is today, read. To sell, to sell it, read. No, we would not. Buy it. And we want what? No, we will not buy it. This is what other things you don't want to be doing. You don't want to be dying on the seventh day. You That's know. right. You know this. Watch this. Go to First Corinthians and then. So guess what? When you walk off the bridge, guess what time needs to be going? Just, just think about it. It said come together in a simple gathering. Holy convocation means simple gathering. When y'all walk off the bridge, the word of God, guess what time needs to be going? Because if you separate, look at everybody. Who, who out here separate right now? Who the only people you see that separate? We want us. Us. And you can tell we separate because we out here teaching the gospel. But if you separate, guess what y'all need to be doing? Y'all need to be going to the house, bro. That's what y'all need to be doing, bro. Because stuff happen on Beer Street all the time. Somebody got down two weeks ago. Seen it? Yeah. First Corinthians, yeah, 11 and more. 11 and 2, read. First Corinthians 11 and verse 2. Let me show you something, bro. Read. Now I pray you, brother, read. that you remember me in all things. Read. Keep the holiness as I deliver them up to you. So he said, keep these commandments. What does this mean, commandments? Read fast. But I will have you know. He said, but I'm going to have you know this. Read. That the head of every man is Christ. The head of, the head of every man is Christ. That's why I had me. Be right. Cause when I look at you and look at you, I see Christ. We. And the head of the woman is the man. The head of the woman is the man. That's the structure. So you got Christ, man, woman. We. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. So what's the order? God, Christ, man, woman. We. Every man praying or prophesying. Every man praying. Pay close attention. Read that again. Every man praying or prophesying. Every man praying or prophesying. What prophesying means? Y'all know y'all in the midst of prophecy right now. Even when the world said this Bible coming out, this what prophesying talking about, read. Cover his head cover. If your head cover, read. Just honor his head. Our head is white. So when the world said a Bible coming out of your head cover, what that means? You just honor in Christ. But that means, hey, what you gonna do? What you gonna do, bro? Read that again. I'll have you know. Every man praying or prophesying. Every man praying or prophesying. Prophesying meaning when you in the midst of prophecy, when the words of this Bible coming out, read. Having his head covered. If your head is covered like your head covered, read. Dishonor his head. You dishonoring Christ right there, bro. So what you gonna do? You gonna take that off, man? I can do that right now. Why you can't? You love God, don't you? Give me, give me 1 John 5 and 3. You read it all. Read it all. all had to do it. If I can do it, I know you can do it. 1 John 5 and 3, read. The book of 1 John. I somebody to get this brother five. Chapter 5 and verse 3. All right, read. For this is the love of you God. You say right here, read. That we keep his commandments. He said this is the love of God that we keep his commandments. So a commandment, he commands you just right here, while you right here. By the words of this Bible coming out, take that man down off. You gang bank? You bank? You bank? Give me Exodus 23 and 2, bro. Read it out. That's, 
Hey, bro, we gotta come out that way, bro. Everybody you see up here, we ain't had a part of this street life. You know what I'm saying? For real though, exit the 23 and 2, bro. That street life, it ain't no joke. Come out there, bro. Read. The book of Exodus, chapter 23 and verse 2. Read. Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil. The Bible say don't follow a multitude to do evil, bro. What is that done for our people? Nothing. But led them to doing evil. You see what, what is that doing? You a Israelite, bro. You a separate people. You supposed to be showing these other brothers, bro. You supposed to be showing these other brothers now, bro. Take that flag out. We God chosen people. We the Israelites according to the Bible. They banging, bro. For real, man, we gotta stop doing that, bro. For real. Read that again. The book of Exodus, chapter 23 and verse 2. Read it out. Thou shalt not. Follow a multitude to do evil. That's a commandment, bro. He said, don't follow a multitude to do evil. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying, bro. You need to take that bandana out, bro. But guess what? People get put to death every day. Every day. Give me First Thessalonians 5 and 22. Bring it out. Bring it out. You say you love God, bro. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. We out here with you. Hey, don't be don't be ashamed. We out here with you, bro. First Thessalonians 5 and 22. The book of First Thessalonians. Chapter 5 and verse 22. Abstain from all appearance of evil. The Bible said abstain from all appearance of evil, bro. You see, you see what I'm saying? Go to Proverbs 1 and 10. Good time for you to stand up. Book of Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 10. Read. My son. If sin is enticed thee, if game bang is enticed you, read. Consent thou not. It says don't consent, read. If they say, come with us. Come with us, bro. Let's go ride on what you is, bro. Let's go ride on these jeans, bro. Let's go ride on these groups. Let's go ride on these niggas and crazy. What they say don't do that? If they say, come with us, read. Let us lay wait for blood. Read, they say, if they say, let us come with us, let's wait in the bushes to go on murder, nigga. Read. Read out. Let us look brindly. Read. For the innocent without cause. Read. For the innocent without cause. Read. Read. Let us swallow them up alive. Read. As the grave. Read. Their whole as, as, as those that go down into the pit. So he said, don't consent if they telling you this, though, bro. That makes sense to you, bro. Don't consent with them game bangers, bro, because guess what? I've been in the street life. Don't nobody care if you got a mama. Don't nobody care if you got a little brother, a son out here. Niggas will mock you in broad daylight. It's time for our people to come out these games, man, for real. That's time right. for you to stand up with the men of God and surround yourself with like-minded brothers, bro. Give me at 6 and 23, bro. It's time for you to come to the light. Let me show you what the light is, bro. bro. The book of Proverbs chapter 6 and verse 23. Read. For the commandment is a lamp. So the commandment is a lamp. Read. And the law is light. Notice I told you earlier what well, you supposed to be showing these other brothers on what they supposed to be doing. The commandment is a lamp. When the house is dark, guess what? You light that lamp on, right? But that lamp do is shine. So the rest of the house can. That's what you need to be trying to do, bro. That's right. And reproof of instruction. On the way of life. And reproof and correction of instruction is the way of life. We telling you the way of life. Because when you walk away from a of some instruction, we brought the word out to many brothers then got cut down. Read. To keep me from the evil woman. And also these laws gonna keep you from the evil woman. Give me Matthew 5 and all 16. Let your light shine. Yeah. It's time for our people to let their light shine, bro. It's more we require you. It's more God require you. Because you know that you God chosen people, bro. You know this. Read Matthew the 5 16. Matthew chapter 5 and verse 16. Read. Let your light so shine before men. Is your light shining before men, bro? You got to let your light shine before men. Because what if it, you, you probably look, you look like you, you probably in it. But you look like you like, man, as long as ain't nobody mess with me, I'm good. But some brothers don't think like this. They think like, oh, he ain't worried what I'm worried. Hey, we finna ride on him. And so what you gotta do, you gotta uh, stretch that off. Let your light shine before men. Read. 
I do it for you right here, man. Right man here. All praises, bro. All praises, bro. bro. I feel y'all. That's what print. That's what pitch is right there. Hey, hey, let me show you what I'm doing. Go do it, brother. Hey, don't do it for me. Do it for God, bro. Read. That's right. Chapter three and verse nineteen. Read. As many as I love, read. I rebuke and chastise. See, that's why we chastening you, bro, because we love our brothers. We tired of seeing our brothers die and come by us, bro. We tired of seeing it because it's a better way out here. You know what I'm saying? Go back to where you was at, bro. Let your light shine before me. The time of our people let their light shine, bro. Shalom. This is Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.